There is something you need to know about enemies. But listen to me very carefully. Many people spend all their energies on the enemy. They focus 100% on the enemies. And that is why they lose the battle. They lose the battle because they don't have time to think about God, God's strategy for winning the battle of life. And they don't think, they don't have time to focus on the strength that God had given them to overcome the enemies. But nevertheless, we need to know our enemies. It is very important for us to understand the strategy that our enemy use to fight the battle and to win us. We must understand what our enemies are doing. We must understand and know the strategy of the enemy. But we must not focus too much on the enemy for the simple fact that God has already given us the victory. Hallelujah. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga. As usual, the King of glory, the mighty God of creation, the creator of all flesh, has given me a word to speak to you this morning, to bless you, to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, and to get you going, to get you winning, and to get you tougher than the situation that you found yourself. This morning, as you listen to this word from God, may God Almighty empower you to win all the battles of life. Because the Bible says we are fighting, but not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Receive power to overcome this battle. Receive power to put the enemy under your feet. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Today, I want you to understand that we have a vital enemy, an active enemy, a never-tired enemy, a never-retiring enemy. But that should not scare you because God said he has given us the victory. Number one, First John chapter 4, verse 4 says, You are of God, little children, and you have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Also, the Bible says in Romans chapter, 10, uh, chapter 8, from verse 26 to the end, I think it's in verse 28, where the Bible says, All things work together for good for them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. When you read further than, he said, but we are more than conquerors. He said, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ that strengthens us. There is Christ inside us that strengthens us from the within. And so we must overcome. But nevertheless, there is a fight to fight. And that is what Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 is saying. That finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Why would we need to be strong if there is no battle? And verse 12 now tells us the reason why we must be strong. He said, because we are fighting, but not against flesh and blood. We are fighting against principalities. We are fighting against powers. We are fighting against rulers of darkness of this world. We are fighting against spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places. So it's a serious battle. You know, it's so serious that Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9 said, A door has been set before me, an effectual door. But there are many adversaries. Adversaries means enemies. A God has set a door before me. But there are so many enemies that surround me. That's what Paul was saying. You see, there are enemies. You cannot underplay the power of the enemy. You cannot overlook what the enemy can do for you. But at the same time, you cannot focus too much on the enemy because God has given us the victory. There is a fight and the battle had been declared. The winner is already declared before the battle began. You are already declared the winner. But you must know that the enemy come in a subtle way to fight us. The enemy come in a subtle way because the enemy has been on this place, in this art for more than many, many thousands of years. And you are how many years old? He knows the tactics. He knows how to get people. And that is why you need to heed to First Peter 
chapter 5 from verse 8. He said, be sober, be vigilant. Because your enemy, the adversary, as a roaring lion, is walking about and is seeking whom to devour. But in all things, God declared you winner. In all things, God says, I give you power. That's what Jesus said in Luke chapter 10 verse 18. To tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. He's not talking to pastors. He's not talking to prophets. He's talking to disciples. He's talking to those who accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. He's talking to the followers of Christ. Those who have Jesus in them. And I know you do. So he's talking to you. He said, whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. This is how to deal with the enemy. There are so many types of enemies. There are human enemies that are inspired by the devil to hate us. Many people hate us without any cause, without any reason. If they are asked, why did you hate him? They say, I don't know. I just hate him. You see? This is why it is very dangerous for you to hate people. You want God to help you overcome your enemies, but you go about hating other people, you cannot win the battle of life, if that is you. If you are hating somebody, if you hate somebody, you are fighting somebody, that person you are fighting is a person of God. That person you are fighting is a son of God or a daughter of God. And so you cannot win the battle when you hate people. If you want God to help you destroy your enemies, you will not hate anybody, no matter what they do for you. This is why Jesus said, forgive when they offend you. Because when you don't forgive, hatred will ensue. And when hatred ensues in your heart, you will not be able to win any battle of life. The enemy will cut up, you you know, it will capitalize on on your failure by hating people to attack you and destroy you. You have to understand, the strategy in spiritual warfare is that you don't hate anybody. Because there are enemies that surround us and they are constantly besieging us and fighting us. But we know one thing, no matter how much they beseech us, no matter how much they fight us, we always win. That is what I want you to know this morning. You always win. You will always win. Because you are more than conquerors. And this is where I'm going to stop today. Thank you for listening. You are able to hear this in all the platforms you are hearing me. Because of partners whom God raised up to support us. And to you know, be a blessing to this ministry. Thank you so much once again. Please rebroadcast this, this message. It's very important for you to rebroadcast it to your friends. God will bless you for doing that. Thank you so much once again. Please, if you hear this or somebody rebroadcasted this to you and you have a WhatsApp application on your phone and you want me to send this to you on, the, on your phone every day directly, just save my number with I Prevail. My number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two. Three eight one. If you want to be a partner, you want to sow a seed to this ministry, WhatsApp that number and just say seed. If you want this message every day, just WhatsApp that number, say add me. And if God has really blessed you to read this, please continue to rebroadcast to your friends and loved ones. Thank you so much. And if you want me to counsel you, you want a prophetic proclamation upon your life, just save this number and call me. Call this number plus two seven seven eight four zero eight eight zero four seven. Call that number. I will cancel you and declare prophetic declaration to your life. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.